What's up YouTube? Welcome back. Today we are going to stretch a new canvas on my frame. I'm not sure what I'm going to tuft yet, but I'll figure it out. So let's get into it. I built this frame specifically for the dimensions of this monk's cloth so that I don't have to do any previous cutting of the fabric. All I need to do is just open it up and stretch it on my frame. Super simple, saves time, and I buy these in bulk. It's very easy to do. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this bad boy open. And I'm going to show you my method of stretching a canvas. So here is a little tip on how I stretch my canvas. I marked the center from here to here, right there with a little red line, as well as on the top, right at the top, so that when it's time to unfold this um, fabric, I just take that crease line that's in the center, line it up there and there, and then I can evenly stretch the canvas out on both sides. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. This line right here, and that line right there is the center of my frame. Now we're gonna stretch the canvas and you'll see how simple it is. All right, so now that the canvas is on the frame, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the tops, the bottoms, and both sides to tighten the actual canvas itself. Make sure that it's not loose in any of the areas and that it's evenly placed on the frame. I'll show you guys what I mean with a up close little video. Okay, so I have the center fold, the crease from the canvas. It's packaging, it lines up with my middle mark of my frame. And I'm gonna just pull in the downward direction so that every single one of these tack strips lines up on the same, uh, same line. That way, when it comes time to tufting, I know that my frame is gonna be very even and my lines can be very straight without me having to worry. This is why um, it's very important to work with um, uniformity and patience so that your pieces come out looking phenomenal. All right, now you can see all of the tack strips are on the same line. That way our line work when we start to tuft will be very straight and very even. Okay, so now that we've got our canvas stretched on our frame and it's really tight, what we're gonna do is we're going to pick our image and then we're gonna project it. Let's do it. All right, now that all of the lights are off and the shutters are shut, we're gonna set up our projector and pick an image. Let's do it. What's up guys? I slept on my design ideas and I think what we're gonna go with is a three foot magic eight ball with Velcroed designs on the inside that say different things. That way you're able to switch them out whenever you're feeling like it. Let's get to tracing. Okay, so now that we have the eight ball traced along with the center image, I'm going to measure that image and then duplicate all over the excess part of the frame. Um, the same size so that when I velcro them on, they're all going to be the same exact fit. Okay, so it's 13 and a half inches for every message in the center. I'm going to make a bunch of those all around. Okay, 
I had to stop myself because I made a rookie mistake. I did not flip my image. So these will not show up the proper way on the, on the opposite side. So what I'm gonna have to do is flip the image and then retrace so that they do show up and read the right way. Big tip, learn from your mistakes. You'd think I would know this by now, but obviously it's been a minute. Um, so yeah, let's fix our mistake. All right. So we have flipped our image so that it does read the right way on the opposite side. Let's retrace. I'm honestly gonna use a different color. You would think I would have learned by now, but we're only human and we make mistakes all the time. It would have been really messed up if I would have traced all of them backwards. That would have really screwed me over. At least I didn't do that. All right, now I have it the right way. All right, so that is the tracing of the Magic 8 Ball along with 12 individual word choices that will be interchangeable via Velcro. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna get to tufting, but if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and a comment. Make sure you hit subscribe for more. See you